drinking actions and no possession or consumption of alcohol will be tolerated at athletic events. Please support all athletes and officials in a positive manner. Be loud, be proud, and especially be positive. Remember, sport a winning attitude at all times. Well, hello, folks, and welcome to Calvin's Men Lacrosse as we start off the uh, season and home opener here at Zuderman Field. About a minute left to go in the pregame. Um, to see both teams now lining up. And in a few seconds here, we're going to cut to National Anthem and uh, starting lineups, and we'll be right back with you then. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand as you're able. Gentlemen, please remove your caps and face the flag near the north side of the field to honor America and those who support our freedom at home and abroad with the singing of our national anthem. <laughs> Joshua Moyer, a junior from Allentown, PA. In midfield, number one, Thomas Smith, a junior from Gross Point Farms, Michigan. Number 20, Christian Kohler, a junior from Ionia, New York. Number 28, Jordan Warners, a freshman from Orange, California. In defense, number 13, Micah Vandenberg, a senior from Lowell. Number 22, Josh Gage. A captain of your team, he's a junior from Livonia, Michigan. Also a captain, number 23, Ethan Bullen, a senior from Round Lake, Illinois. And in goal, number 21, Corgan Schomburg, a senior from Rockton, Illinois. Head coach for your Knights is David Hoger, assisted by Bob Evan, Chad Wright, Yevgeny Gavorkin, and Scott Opal. Today's NCAA officials assigned to the game are Jesse Reed, Luke Greensman, and Ted Patrick. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now for the fastest game on two feet. Well, folks, there we go. We've already started the match here on the field. Calvin currently holds possession. Ground ball got a bit of a fight going on right now. Davenport able to get control of this. Post scrambling for the ball. Turnover now to Kohler. Kohler pushes the ball over to Warners. Warners looking to the midfield. Smith trying to find an opening here. Davenport putting up a great defense. He looks in. Shot goes just wide. Still maintained in Calvin's possession. Ball goes to Kohler. Swings it over to Warners. Now back to Kohler. McKinney, Smith. Trying to find an opening here. Circling the goal, Smith looking. Nice save there by the goalie, number eight, Daniel Milano. Davenport now takes a shot, shot goes wide. Day swings it over. McKinney for the Knights. Shoots it up to Blackman. Blackman looking back to the midfield, letting some control settle. Ground ball, Davenport recovers. King now rushing down the, the field. Momentum stopped at Ashley, but definitely trying to keep things going here. Now with the ball, looking for something. Ball knocked free. Davenport's fighting to recover this. Still a ground ball. Knights recover with number four, Zelinski. Shot on goal. Free ball. And a goal for the Calvin Knights. It's the first on the board of tonight. First blood drawn by Joshua Moyer. Great play out there. They found that loose ball, scooped it up, and threw it right back in that goal. Free Davenport's control. Swung back to defender Griffith. Benz running, swings it up to Vandenberg. Nice trying to knock this loose. They do, and regain control. Take that back ball, still free at the goal. Goalie manages to get control. Back 
back to Schaumburg. Galvis attackers really just looking for an opportunity at this point. Davenport putting up a tough fight. McKinney looking to break. There's a back to Griffith. Griffith trying to rush. A little bit of a wide throw there that escaped Blackman, but he's able to regain control. Shot goes in, is blocked. <laughs> Davenport currently holds the ball in the backfield. Pressure. Find an opening here in the Knights defense. Knights knock it loose. Shot goes in. Just wide. Another shot attempt. And a goal for Davenport. Panthers goal, Luke Fritz with the assist from Bryn Baker. Knights penalty on. It's going to be a pretty cold day out here at Calvin Trump University. McKenna, one minute slash. Definitely got a cold breeze coming out of the north. 36 degrees, but I'm sure it's feeling colder out there on the field right now. Might be able to see some of the flags flying right now because because of the strong wind. So definitely some interesting conditions for the the boys out there to be playing in. Be interesting. I mean, they've been training in these conditions for quite some time at this point. Um, obviously, starting their practice kind of near the beginning of the semester. Um, there was a certain time there where there was a bunch of snow on the field. Had to get that all cleared off so that they could practice. Uh, there was some indoor practicing, wall ball, and things like that going on. But uh, they were able to recover from that and start a strong practice. And so here we are at the first game on the brand new Calvin Field. Davenport putting pressure near Knight's goal. Try the shots, ball's knocked loose. Looks like another goal, Davenport. Panthers goal, Jaden Ashley with the assist from Braden Baker. Nice play there by Jaden Ashley. I mean, he found that hook and just threw that right in the goal. Nice though, we need to put up a little defense here as uh, Davenport's trying to creep up on them. Calvin with the ball. Blackman looking for somebody. It's 
Smith over to Warners. Warners trying for a bit of a push here. Kohler having to settle over to Smith. Smith taking a shot, going just wide. Ball will now be Davenport's. Defender McKinney there trying to break the ball free. Get a ground ball, unable to. Davenport still rushing that down the field. Turnover to the Knights. Pushed up to McKinney. McKinney trying to beat the defender here. He could push behind the goal. Shot Brian blocked. Davenport was able to recover that. Davenport looking, puts a goal up. Panthers goal, Jaden Ashley with the assist from Griffin Pohl. Just like that, score now 3-1 in Davenport's favor. Now he's able to win control of this. Well, now being pushed up, knocked free. Kohler with the ball. Griffith, Griffith pushes up to Blackman. And Blackman's looking. Swing over to Griffith again. Griffith trying to get in close. Shot goes wide. Panthers penalty and Griffin pull push 30 seconds. Take a moment here to wish you all a happy Fat Tuesday. I don't know if many of you know exactly what that is, but it's a uh, annual tradition here, at least that my family celebrates, uh, and I think many other people too, where the day before uh, Lent starts, everyone goes out and gets a punchki and um, often pierogies too. It's kind of a Polish tradition. and So that's where I was this morning, waiting in a long line to get that uh, punchki, which is a pastry that's kind of like a donut, jelly-filled donut, but uh, in my opinion, slightly better. So I don't know if any of you went out and celebrated that today, but if you do, happy Fat Tuesday to y'all. Back in play. 
Knights with possession. Seeing what they can do here is to bring the score back up in their favor. Shot goes out from Blackman. Finds its mark. Your way to beautiful. I mean, great right play there. By David Blackman with the assist from Christian Kohler. So got around the goal and so able to find that uh, undefended mark right on the far left side there of the goal. Capitalized on that, and uh, obviously Blackman threw that right in, just behind the goalie. Definitely what the Knights want to see at this point. I mean, we're running down only four minutes left here in the first quarter and trying to tie up that score a little bit uh, so we can at least get some even starting ground going into quarter two or even get the Knights up a little bit. So that's definitely a great thing to, for them to see. And um, obviously they're going to try for more as it's the game of sports. You want to put points on the board. Panthers penalty on Lucas Renzetti. Delay a game. That's 30 seconds. Looks penalty. like we have a penalty there on uh, Davenport. Fancy shot taken there by Moyer. This was able to be blocked by Davenport's goalie. And another shot, Calvin finds its mark. All right. You see, it's up by the Jake There's a goal from Jacob Bledsoe with the assist from Cole McKinney. Still loading, that's the caption. I've only amounted a minimal fraction. Eat good, I got indigestion. Best slow in my hood, no aspirin. Can't get rid of my pain with aspirin. They've just came in at Aston, I'm making that Maybach music. That's exactly what I said the Knights were They're trying to insult me, I'm telling them something. I'm made that stupid. They found it just like that within less than a minute of the last goal that uh, was made by Blackman. I'm sure they definitely want to keep this energy high, keep uh, a lot of aggression on the field. And just continually finding those opening shots, or open shots on goal. Panthers penalty on Trent Eichbauer. Cross check, one minute. Timeout, Davenport. Timeout taken by Davenport. I'm sorry, Dave. A lot of other construction projects here. Had a little bit of work done on the baseball field earlier this year. Um, track being built across the way near Prince Conference Center. And of course, the Knights own the football stadium being uh, built and put up for our Knights' first ever football program. I believe next fall they'll we'll start playing uh, over at uh, one of the high school, local high schools here in Grand Rapids with Grand Rapids Christian. So I had the first couple of games there, but with high hopes. We'll have that uh, football stadium put up pretty quickly so we can get a lot of home game action, a lot of student partition, participation coming out to that, as I'm sure we love to see here at Calvin. Face off won by the Knights. Ball taken forward by Kohler and swung to the backside there, now in McKinney's possession. Back to Kohler. Kohler tries. Blackman. Blackman goes just wide.
Looks like we had a bit of an error on the shot clock that needed some correction. So that's what they did. They just reset it to 42 seconds. Back to Knight's ball. Knight's fighting for an opening here. Shot attempted by McKinney, but able to be saved on Davenport's side. Davenport goalie, Zolinski now breaking free, trying to rush this. First time ball's been in Calvin's territory for a couple minutes now. Brown ball continues. Davenport able to repossess. Shot goes just high. Ball will stay down here with Davenport. Looking for an opening here. Ball knocked free. Fight now for the ground ball. Davenport wins it. With number 15, Trevor McDonald, the junior from Six Nations, Ontario. And a shot clock violation. Gives the ball to the Knights. Folks, I think I just saw a little bit of snow come down there in the field. I mean, we had definitely have the conditions for it, but not the greatest sign if you're a spectator out there struggling to keep warm. It's one thing about the lacrosse season starting so early and being out there in the opening. Same with baseball, too, and uh, softball, for that matter. Often get stuck in some cold conditions early on the season. And um, as a spectator, that's not always the most fun thing to sit through, but... Obviously, you gotta be out there supporting your favorite team. Pass goes just high, and Nobby Davenport's to control. 50 seconds left here in period one. Davenport definitely gonna try to put a rush here and get a lead over Calvin as the quarter comes to an end. Calvin able to scoop up the ground ball. Push forward to the midfielder. Vandenberg. Ball now with Moyer. Moyer swings it to McKinney. Moyer looking for the break. Seven seconds left on the clock to McKinney again. That brings us to the end of period one. All right, score at the end of one score. is all knocked Calvin up at three. It's Davenport's three, both tied up. So if you are uh, coming with it with that mentality, we'll be coming into quarter two Sleep with pretty much a back to zero to zero. And um, here on Calvin Sports Network, we'll be right back with you as we come into quarter two.
And we're back here. Face off goes to Calvin. Davenport gains control, swings it back to the goalie. Mike Bauer. McEwen trying to regain control of the ball here. And Knights win the turnover. Midfield with Smith. Smith looking for an opportunity here. Looks to the corner with Blackman. And back to Smith. Trying to push that ball forward. Pull it to Blackman. Warner's trying to beat out his defender. Shoots it just a little high. Could now be Davenport's. Called. I believe that penalty was put on Don't have nice the penalty on Micah Vandenberg for a push 30 seconds Vanderberg, that foul was on. Ashley looking for the shot, going high. Davenport back in with the ball. Baker looking to the attacker. Shot made. Trying to sneak it in here. And ball goes in for Davenport. And it's called the goal. Davenport now creeping ahead, four to three in quarter Panthers two. Panthers goal, Braylon Baker. Face off goes to the Knights. Push back to Kohler, trying to gain some control here. Ball is just a little high. Ground ball scooped up by Daniel Milano. Calvin getting possession back with Kohler. for something here. Carpenter looking for N, takes a shot, and a goal for Braden Carpenter.
Night School, Braden Carpenter. I mean, lacrosse is such a fast-paced game. You really just can never tell where it's going to go. I mean, we obviously saw the Knights trailing down here. Trailing down here in the first quarter, down two. Obviously came back quickly in the uh, into the first quarter and tied things up. Davenport puts one up in the first two minutes, and Calvin able to answer it just like that. Such a quick and fast-paced game. Panthers penalty, Sean Ryan, delay of game, 30 seconds. Call the Bledsoe, and another goal for the Calvin Knights. Right. Took that opportunity. You see, Stanley Stanley goal goal up 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 with the assist from Paul McKinney. I dare say. Still loading us the cups of only a mark in a minimum fraction. He could have got indigestion. Best slow in my hood, no aspirin. Can't get rid of my pain with aspirin. Dave just came in at Aston. I'm making that Maybach music. They're trying to insult man, telling us. Just like that, we have another face off. And Calvin Gates gets possession. Looking for a third scoring opportunity. Sit long over to Smith. Smith trying to beat his defender here. Tries for a goal, blocked by the goalie. That'll be the goalie Milano that took the ball and shot it over to 33, Baker. We're just circling the goal right now, looking for that inopportunity. Snow's still coming down here. Calvin looking for an opportunity to possess on the ground ball, and Davenport's able to recontrol that. And a shot goes in. And a goal for Davenport. Panthers goal, Ty Woods with the assist from Braden Baker. Goal, Ty Woods of Davenport. It's assist on Baker. Wins the face off. Sends it to their defenders to allow time for things to get kind of set up. Mike Bauer looking forward for something. Trying off a screen there from McDonald. Back to Gillette. And this one back over to McDonald. Definitely gonna start looking for an opportunity here. They trying to look in here and beat his defender. So far though, Calvin's defense able to put up a pretty good uh, pretty good wall 
I mean, honestly, on both sides, we've, we've seen a lot of that. There's not a whole lot of opportunities allowed for either team to score. Any attempts to kind of go in are obviously uh, easily prevented. And like we just saw, some forced turnovers, too. Sign of a great defense. Griffith possessing near the midfield. Looks forward to McKinney. Carpenter back to McKinney. Blackman tries for a shot. Saved. Now ground ball. Not free. Looks like it'll be Davenport's ball to take. King trying to push up the field. See if he can find a break in the defenders. Back to King. King tries for a shot, goes wide. Davenport with the SN. Gillette trying to beat McKinney on this. Shot wide again. Still will stay with Davenport. Davenport looking for another opportunity here, trying to find a break in Calvin's defense. And shot goes in. Ooh, that was by number 21, Braylon Baker. Panthers goal, Braylon Baker with the assist from Jaden Ashley. Ground ball goes to Calvin. Kohler pushing forward to McKinney. Warner, Smith. Smith trying for a spin. She takes a shot, goes wide. Looks like we have a bit of a broken racket out there. Or stick, I guess, is technically the correct terminology. No penalty called, though. Warner's over to Kohler. Again, wide. McKinney. Call her back to Smith. We have a whistle for something, but ball will remain with the Knights.
Kohler now. And the penalty flag will be thrown. Gameplay obviously continues. Got a sub coming in off the opportunity. Panthers penalty, Griffin pull, interference, 30 second minor. Calvin looking for an in, finds a goal, number 35, Josh Moyer. That goal, Joshua Meyer with the assist from Cole McKinney. Swings over to Ingberg. Carpenter now just kind of orbiting the goal, seeing what he can, what openings he can see. Moyer tried it again there and went a little bit wide. We'll try it in and a block from Milano on Davenport's side. Again, another shot from the Knights by Griffith. Knights finding a lot of openings here, but obviously the goalie keeps uh, putting up a t tough wall. I mean, obviously that's a commonality with a lot of sports here, soccer, hockey, things like that. <laughs> you can't get it past the goalie, you don't get the point. And um, Davenport definitely having a strong goalie there. And number eight, Daniel Milano. And a goal for Davenport down on Calvin's territory. Panthers goal, Keelan McEwen with the assist from Jaden Ashley. Timeout, Davenport. Looks like Davenport. Take their second time out here. I just need a little bit of more than you know. Yeah, of course. You know. Kind of sliding through. He's now uh, six, seven. Obviously, up to have a really nice to set. And I'll give him this timeout back. Uh, cover a little bit off that fast play they just made. It. Give everyone a time to get some fresh subs in there. Stands with the field, I am 
Cross is still here, but they definitely were here at the start of the game and um, went out probably to their own practice at this point. I know they were trying to get it moved to the morning so that they could be out here supporting the boys, but I don't know if they were successful in that or not, especially since morning practice often happens to be around 6 a.m. and some people don't like to wake up that early if they don't have to. There we saw Davenport put a little bit of pressure on the goal, but Calvin was able to get the balls back in their control. Shot by Thomas Smith finds its mark in the goal. As an attack, you always be want, wanting to be looking for, for those openings and those windows and uh, kind of, like I said, capitalize on the opportunities. And exactly that's exactly what we saw Smith do. We've seen that a couple of more times throughout the game tonight as well. And uh, obviously, probably, a, hopefully, a lot more to come as well. Calvin already pushes back up. Blackman trying for a shot that's blocked. Davenport able to get some possession now and keep things slow. Long pass down the field. Tried for the goal there, but just went a little wide and luckily for the Knights too. Passes to Kohler. Looks like we have another timeout called. Timeout, Calvin. This one called by Calvin. Minute 27 left to go here before we go into halftime. Push me and then just touch me. Till I can get my satisfaction. Push me, and then just hurt me. Till I can get my yeah, satisfaction. 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 That didn't come out. Um, a little bit of buffer room to work with. Gang, gang, 
Knights trying to look for an opening here. Shot just deflected by Daniel Milano. One minute, one minute. One minute left on the clock. Pressure on the Knights now to do something. Coming out of this timeout. Carpenter making the push. Ground ball. Top of the stick flies off there. Thirty seconds left. Bledsoe trying to find an opening here. Gives it to Griffith. Come on, Calvin. Looks like Calvin calls their second time out here. I mean, this is really where it comes down to the wire. No, we can obviously still have, have half a game to go. I mean, Calvin definitely wants to get a good uh, structure here, set up a good play. So that coming out of this time now, they can take these last 23 seconds and make as much progress as they can to go find that open goal. And I mean, we've seen before how quick these shots can be set up and taken. So I think Calvin's wanting to do another similar strategy to that. Come up quick, get up fast, and try to find that break in the defense. for something here. Moyer looking in, passes over to Smith. Smith trying to find the opening, goes just wide. Calvin's ball, four seconds left. McKinney just running out of time. And you have time score, seven, seven. And we're all tied up again. This seems to be a reoccurring theme here as we go and uh, the end of the quarters. And so we'll be starting, like I said, uh, last, the end of the first quarter, we'll be starting kind of as a 0-0 zero -zero mentality here. Still anyone's game. Um, no team having a significant advantage. It's pretty evenly paced, too, as far as skill levels on both sides. I mean, it's really been coming down to these open opportunities and things seen by each team that has been able to yield the goals so far. Um, we're here on Calvin Sports Network. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come right back to you in a couple minutes here as we roll into the third quarter. But until then, tonight's viewers, stay tuned.
Conference play this Saturday, February 17th at 1 o'clock Central Time, 2 o'clock here at home at Edgewood College in Madison, Wisconsin. And our next home game is Saturday the 24th at 1 o'clock when we host the Augustana Vikings, so we'll see you back here on the 24th. Give me some of that. And we're back. Both teams preparing for the face-off here. There it is. Nice possession already. Looking for the opening here. Kohler. Oh, back yeah, just gets out of the reach of Blackman. Oh. Remains Calvin's ball. Ground ball here. Knights trying not to give a turnover. Stays with Smith. Smith pushing forward there to Kohler again. with a crosses it to Warners. Davenport's control. Subs now off and game resumes. Start with the goalie Milano.
A lot of great communication going out there right now. I mean, even from up here in the booth, hear a lot of shouting and just all different sorts of communication, giving that great awareness to everyone. Blackman pushing now to the middle. You know, looking for that opportunity with Brian. Brian swings it to Griffith. Blackman falling back, and looking over to Brian again. Brian trying to get close there, but being beaten off by the defenders. Ball's now Griffith looking for that end. Ball's knocked loose. And Milano will get control of the turnover. Penalty flag thrown. And looks like that penalty will be on Davenport's Jack Boyd for a slash. Panthers penalty on Brody Baker. That's a slash. Excuse me, that penalty was on Brody Baker. I had a bit of a misread there. Kohler will start with the ball. Sends it back to McKinney. McKinney trying to find that look in. Davenport forces a turnover from the Knights. Ground ball. Davenport regains control. McEwen shoots it back to Baker. Baker giving his team time to set up something. Stays turn, trying to look in, just sneaking by his defender, takes a shot, will be saved by the goalie. No slash call on that. There's the penalty flag. Panthers penalty on Chris Junket. That's a push, 30 second minor. Game resumes. Obviously, Davenport now with the ball coming off the penalty. Trying to find an opening here. Just sneaks it in. Goal from 42, Dawson Gillette. Panthers goal, Dawson Jr. Gillette. Battle Creek, Michigan. And that puts Davenport up by a point.
you know, in such a fast-paced game, one point is not that big of a difference. I mean, there's some sports out there, one point like basketball that moves so fast that, uh, I mean, one point means absolutely nothing until the last few seconds of the game. But, you know, I put lacrosse in that category. It's not something like baseball where one point will kind of linger with you the entire game and sometimes even win those kinds of games. So that's one kind of positive about lacrosse is one point, as long as there's not too much of a lead given, you can shake it off. Another goal by Davenport. Panthers goal, Keelan McEwen with the assist. And it Griffin looks like goal. Calvin will call a timeout. I mean, two goals in that quick of a time, definitely something you don't want to see if you have Calvin Knights and have to put a quick end to it. I mean, on I'm that kind Calvin. of pace, that's kind of the pace that it will um, make or break a game. And so they have to kind of put a good defensive strategy there to break this up. up there braving it and and props to those guys helping out here on the sports information team to bring you such a great broadcast so that you can watch your favorite players Face off, one by Calvin. Coleman now pushing forward, shoots it to Blackman. Ball now with McKinney. Sends it back to Warners. Coleman looking forward here, trying to find an opportunity, takes a shot and finds a goal. So you want to, you use a timeout so that you can get things set up to uh, either give your players a breather or, or to kind of write up a play that they can use to kind of shorten the gap. And that's exactly what we just saw Kohler do. Blackman dropping his stick. Davenport's ball. Like Bauer sends it forward. Ashley now over to McEwen. Baker trying to hook around. Calvin not letting it happen. Big ground ball. Sent over to Calvin. Calvin's defense settling this. Sends it up to Gage. Brian centers it with Carpenter. Push there. Griffith loses control, control of the ball. 
Zelensky getting it back for Davenport. We'll be back in the Knights' hands. Davenport now trying to make a push down for Calvin's goal. Ashley trying to circle around. Shot just deflected off. Regained control from King. Davenport still putting pressure. Trying to find an opening here. And Davenport will get us goal. Penalty flags thrown. So I believe goal that, with the assist from Brandon that penalty is Freeland on Calvin. Baker. So goal still counts for Davenport. Don't know exactly what this discussion is about down on the field. Both teams talking to the refs. Calvin penalty on Ethan Bowens. That's a push. 30 seconds. It looks like it'll be a Calvin penalty. And Ethan Bowens, number 23. There's no goal on that. No goal. And no goal. It was huge for Calvin. Just took away a point from Davenport there. And put this game back within a one-point striking range. And game resumes after that slight delay from the uh, deliberation. Ground ball here. Calvin fighting to regain. And they get control. Ball flies free again. Davenport's now. Swings it over to the corner. Back down to McEwen. Davenport trying to look in. Shot from McEwen. Just goes wide. Shot blocked from Gillette. And Davenport goal, I believe. Davenport goal, Ty Wood. One from number 24, Ty Woods, the freshman from Stonewall, Canada. Definitely a bit of a ways from home. It's always interesting to me, uh, wondering if some of our Canadian brothers up there are normal or used to experiencing this kind of cold. I mean, Michigan's pretty close to that plane, depending on where you are in Canada. Um, but there's definitely certain parts of Canada that are much colder than this. It's always interesting to see, are they walking around in shorts and a t-shirt right now, or are they bundled just like the rest of us? Calvin's ball now. Sent forward to Gage. Now up to Kohler. 
Ball trying to be knocked from Blackman here. Just rolled to Warner's, giving another chance to get set up here on the night side and try to find an opening. Ball shot too wide to Smith. Loses control, and that'll be Davenport's ball. It goes out of bounds. Baker from Davenport. Pull trying to push forward here. And cross over to number 21, Braylon Baker. Trying to sneak past the defender. Shoots it back to McDonald. McDonald will center it with Day. Day now taking his own approach on this. Day will keep control after falling to the ground there. And shot over from Gillette that was saved. Back over to Gillette. He's going to try it again. Thinking about it, passes in though. Another block. Now give Calvin possession of the ball. He's still looking for that opening. Sent over to Carpenter. Carpenter looking for an opening here. His defender pushes him back. Ground ball from Carpenter, able to recontrol this. Sends it over to Moyer. Moyer sends it to Griffith. Shot clock, now 16 seconds left. Some Calvin looking to do something here. Drops the ball. And we'll get a push for that penalty. Really exactly what Calvin needed there with the shot clock kind of running down, threatening to Cause a delay of game foul. Blackman to Griffith. Griffith trying to look into someone. Unable to send it, send it back to Blackman. Griffith almost losing there, able to be recontrolled by Moyer. Blackman rushing here, takes a shot. Deflected by Milano. Davenport able to get in repossession of this ball. Ground ball again. Davenport sends it over to Zelensky. Now with Baker, Baker looking for an opening here. Tries to cross it. Davenport trying to rush the goal here. Baker with a cross. Ground ball recovered by Davenport. Tries for a shot. And is knocked in. 
Davenport now pulls ahead, 11 to eight. Only a No goal. I believe that was what was just said out there. There's a little bit of confusion in the booth here about what exactly was just called, but we think the goal was waved off. Really not sure what exactly happened, but it's currently in Knight's possession now. Giving Knight a chance to take this. Settles with Smith. Smith looking to shoot. Tries to send it in. And a turnover now to Davenport. Pole trying to find an opening here. He finds it. He's now rushing the goal. Looking over, sends this to McEwen. McEwen pushed from gaining an opportunity to score. Looks like a timeout's called on the field. There's a Davenport timeout. Timeout, Davenport. 42 seconds left in period three. Calvin's down, eight to 11. It's gonna be interesting looking to see what round is covered here. A lot can happen in 42 seconds. Um, we've seen some quick breakaways off some of the face-off opportunities that have just been 30 seconds or less that have been able to score. So it's definitely very interesting to see what Davenport plans to do here. Or if we find a ground ball that Calvin can quickly repossess and close the score a little closer. Teams coming out of the timeout. Davenport seeing what they can do with only 40 seconds remaining. Obviously enough time for a play here. So they circle the goal looking for an in opportunity. Just trying to keep their defenders moving, wear them down a little bit, and try to find a fault, a slip up. Shot taken, Calvin gets control of this. 16 seconds left. And a turnover that rolls out of bounds. 10 seconds for Davenport. Ground ball, Day takes it. Still losing control and that'll take us to the end of period three. At the end of the third period, Davenport 11, Calvin eight. Calvin definitely needing a little bit of room to make up here as we roll into the fourth quarter. Uh, not a whole lot of time to do it either, but if they keep the score consistent and close that three-point lead that Davenport currently holds, still a very attainable goal for Calvin. I'm sure they're glad for this overcast too, although it's making it a little bit colder. A lot of the times here you'll catch when the sun starts to set uh, and kind of gets the player's eyes and cause a lot of uh, errors, and especially when you have a white ball on a clear sky and with that sun shining in your eyes, it can often cause some uh, ground balls and turnovers. So I'm sure they're a little bit happy about this overcast we see right now. It might prove to still be, though, a pretty sunset. You can see a little bit of breaks here in the clouds that, uh, clouds that might turn into a sunny day tomorrow.
be great for students walking around on campus and trying to keep it warm. Especially seeing that field jump into the 50s, and I think in one day that dared to go into the 60s. Um, especially living here on campus, walking to classes, because that was a great day. I was walking around in pants and a sweatshirt, and one day I think I even went down in a t-shirt. Um, so definitely hoping that comes back, but the next week or so definitely still proves to be kind of cold. I think between the uh, 20s and maybe going up to the 40s, but that's about as high as we're going to see it go. And so any other home games we have here are going to still be a little bit cold. I think uh, Calvin's boys in the process still has a little bit, a little over a week before we see the next game. So hopefully it'll warm up for them there. And uh, yeah, I know the cold definitely can really impact the games, especially with soccer, getting that ball hard. Um, I mean, the cross balls definitely don't have that exact problem, uh, but it still very much affects the players have this, as they have to warm up a little bit more coming off the bench and getting into the game and, and cause them to kind of start off groggy and need a little bit more time to warm up as opposed to some of the warmer uh, tail end of spring and earlier fall. Davenport starting strong here. As I say that, ground ball. Bit of a fight for it. That looks like Calvin will possess. Possess. Baker comes out of the goal to push this down. And sells it over to Gillette. Had a Panthers penalty on penalty call Trent there. Pipeboard. That's a trip. Maloney. Thirty seconds. Calvin seeing what they can do with this. Blackman. Sells it over to Smith. So they pass back and forth. Far shot taken by Smith. Will be saved by goal. Ground ball. Calvin trying to get this. And Davenport will be the ones that gain control. That could have been huge for Calvin if they were able to get possession of that. There's a turnover for Calvin right there. Smith looking to Kohler. Bledsoe getting back to Smith. Calvin at this point just really looking for an opportunity there where one of their guys can sneak in. There was Kohler trying to find something but not able to. And the pass goes to McKinney, goes a little bit high and out of bounds. Ground ball here. Fight for it. Calvin gets the possession of this. Smith with a shot. 
Saved again by Milano. Milano proving so far for Davenport to just kind of be sitting there and anticipating all these shots as they come in. Definitely a great barrier that uh, Knights are going to have to overcome here as they need to make up a three-point lead from Davenport. Knights force a turnover here. Ball sent forward to Brian. Now over to McKinney. And another turnover. Davenport trying to look for an opportunity to kind of capitalize on here. Tries for an undershot. Just goes wide. They're able to recover it though. Another shot from McEwen. This one blocked. Ground ball. Davenport repossesses again. Knight's defense needs to get control of this ball fast. Before a goal like that happens as Davenport just scores. That's something you don't really want to see as a defense. The I mean, Panthers goal you've for had three Jay attempts Nash there on goal, and, uh, two of which were blocked. And as that ball is kind of scrambling on the floor as a ground ball, you want to be able to capitalize on that and kind of scoop it up and regain possession for your team. And, uh, Every time that was Davenport's recovery. So as a defense, it's definitely something you want to work on. But as the season's still early, there's still plenty of time before it really gets down to matter. Penalty and Calvin's ball. And Kohler will look for this and go just wide. Looks like we got a penalty coming. And that'll be... Panthers penalty on Matt first. That's a penalty of game, 30 seconds. For a delay of game. Davenport timeout. Looks like Davenport takes a timeout here coming off that penalty. As we sit here, 9.32 left in the rest of this game. Calvin currently trailing behind, 8 to 12. A lot of ground to make up here. It's certainly not impossible, but definitely going to have to keep a strong defensive presence. And find a lot of great offensive opportunities. And it'll be interesting to see what they uh, do coming out of this. I mean, obviously, timeout, one thing about taking it is it gives your time, team the time to restructure and come up with a good plan, but it also gives the other team an opportunity to recover and uh, recoup and also set up to kind of come in out there and try to score another goal. Um, so always have to be careful about when you call those timeouts, but we'll see if Davenport uses this to their advantage or if Calvin's able to just kind of steal the timeout for them, so to speak, and come up with a strategy that winds up putting some points on the scoreboard for them. Here we go, back with Knight's ball. 
Knights are going to need a fast break here. Turns into a ground ball, but Smith able to recover. Knights still looking for an opportunity here. And a shot goes in with a goal. Again, Joshua Meyer. Moyer, excuse me. It's his second so far of the game. That's number two for Joshua Moyer with the assist from Paul McKinney. That's exactly what Calvin needed coming out of that timeout. I mean, they were able to kind of, like I said, steal the timeout from Davenport and find structure through it. A couple ground ball errors there on the passing, but they still were able to kind of take advantage of that and find a goal, and that's exactly what you want to see. Another ground ball. Calvin tries for a scoop there, but Davenport will be the one to recover. King's push. Davenport still looking here. Fritz passing back. Baker trying to get a shot off here. Goes wide. That'll be Ashley with control. Sends forward. Woods getting control of the ground ball. The shot goes off just as shot clock runs out. That will go wide. Now Knight's possession. Vandenberg sends it up to Bullens. And a turnover. Davenport's Baker tries to push this up, seeing if he can find a goal. Sends it over to Eichbauer for a missed shot. Shot deflected from the Knights. Calvin getting recovery of that ground ball. Sends it forward. And a turnover back to Davenport. Day now pushing down. Sends it over. Pass goes wide. Now be Calvin's ball again. Sends it over to Brian. That'd be Carpenter looking for an in. Griffith possessing that corner, trying to make a rush. And he'll send it over. Shot taken by Bloodsoe, but nothing done with it. Bloodsoe again, this time to Blackman. And Moore really trying out there for a long shot, but again, will not find his mark. Calvin needing to make up a lot of progress here in the last 5.30 with 
three down. I think right now what we really need to see from Calvin's offense is some, some quick plays. I mean, we're seeing them trying to find opportunities here, but kind of just circling the goal and uh, in person. We need to see some, some quick action, and especially on some of these ground balls. I mean, we need quick possession of them and to make a fast break on it. Attempted shot there from Davenport. What happened, and it'll be recovered from Calvin, or by Calvin, excuse me. Now to, to Gage. Here's, here's Calvin's chance forward here with Kohler now with the ball. That's where I need to, where I was saying before, coming off that ground ball, they need to make some quick movements and find the opening of the defense. Kohler trying to beat his man. Shoots it forward to McKinney. McKinney centers with Smith. Moore pushed back. Knights will try play again. Shot goes high. Shoots it over to McKinney. Blackman now trying for a shot and a goal. Number three, no David Blackman. Sophomore from Wheaton, Illinois. With the goal. That's the second goal for David Blackman for the assistant Thomas Smith. Seen him take a lot of opportunities in the last two uh, quarters, but we haven't seen anything from him since the first half until now. And he was able to get that fast break and just find the opening between defenders, and that's exactly what I was saying we needed the Knights to do. Coming off the face off, Davenport wins it. First is a forward turnover to Calvin. Now over to Brian. Moore pops it up to Carpenter. Carpenter sends it down to McKinney. McKinney looking for a rush here. Ball's knocked loose. Goes out of bounds. Davenport's ball. Ike Bauer trying to make this rush. Knights trying to knock it loose. Unable to. The ball goes back to the Knights there. Trying to do something with this. Rolls it over to Warners. There's a far shot from Backman, from Blackman. Turns into a ground ball. Davenport's control. See a penalty flag come out. Play continues as McEwen sends it over to Baker. <laughs> Davenport looking for an opening here. Quick turn from McDonald. Sends it back to Day. Day looking to Gillette. Gillette puts a shot on goal that goes wide. Oh, 
pressure definitely coming down on the field now. Knights have two points yet to make up and only a minute 27 to do it. Again, we saw two quick back from to back scores earlier on in the second quarter, so we know the Knights are capable of it. So it's not a question of if, but when. Kelvin penalty on Cole McKenney for push 30 seconds. Davenport trying to look for an opportunity on goal. If the Knights want to make this break, they're going to have to get, force a ground ball and get a quick possession. McDonald shoots it over to Ashley. And Ashley puts it in for Davenport University. Really not what Knights wanted to see at this point. I mean, two points is catchable. Three points is going to be a lot more of a stretch for the Knights in the last minute. Panthers goal, Jaden Ashley with the assist from Trevor McDonald. Something you like to see from these athletes, though, is despite being down, they still keep their head in the game and continue to play, continue to force their way through the sport. I mean, it's never a good place to be sitting down three points with a minute left in the fourth, but you still got to keep your head in the one game. Minute, and, one minute. And just play it like it's the first. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, you're, you're out there to win, but you also want to have fun. And uh, that involves just continually playing the game. We saw Kohler win that. Kohler quick pass off to Backman. Moore need, needing to make a quick move here. Sends it forward to McKinney. McKinney looking for the shot opportunity. It's forced behind the goal. Pops it over. Ball's knocked loose. And it'll be Davenport that gets control of the turnover. Calvin tried to intercept there, but Davenport still won it back over. And Ashley will hold it to bring the game to a close. Final score, Calvin 10 and Davenport 13. Not a great way and your final you want to, or to open the one. season for Calvin, but still a hard Davenport game played Panthers, out there by our 13, boys. Calvin, definitely we're very on. much in the game. We'll and like week. I was talking throughout the game, it was very cold out there today. And definitely that's a factor you have to put in, the play, or put in consideration, I should say, as you contemplate this, uh, this loss. I mean, again, it's not a great way to start the season, but there's always room for improvement. And that's probably what they're going to be working on throughout the next couple of practices as their next game is coming up in a little over a week. Just kind of lock in here. Or I should say their next home game is coming up in a little over a week. They're just going to need to lock in here, figure out the flaws, get a little bit better on recovery of those ground balls and some of the interceptions, and, and just really hone in on working working on those. So we'll see what comes out of the, the Knights next. But again, as a spectator here for the season opener, that was still a very fun game. Sun setting as we uh, ended here. So we got a beautiful sky to end it on. And, Handshakes now. See that sportsmanship that's so promoted in the MIAA and NCAA. So before we go here at Calvin, we just want to thank you all for tuning in. I mean, Wednesday, or excuse me, a Tuesday, we definitely got some people working out there. And so thank you for taking time out of your day to tune in to Cal Calvin Sports Network and to cheer on our nights here. Ladies and gentlemen, so just thank, thank you all you for, for that. Coming. And uh, Please drive I've been Logan Gasho, and this has been the Calvin safely. Knights season opener Good for night. men's lacrosse. So stay tuned He's for more and have a great night. It's over. Go home.